this week's episode of Too Much of a Good Thing. The aim of this quiz show is to decide whether Shakespeare is relevant today. I'm your host, Scott Dumbleby. Now to our contestants to introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Louise. I edit Shakespeare Today. I think Shakespeare is relevant because the themes in his plays are still present in today's society and also the language he uses is still used on a day-to-day basis, whether people realise it or not. Hi, I'm Steve and I edit Shakespeare Yesterday and I don't believe Shakespeare is relevant as his themes are outdated and the language he uses is redundant. In this game, all the glitters is not gold, as at the end of each round, contestants have the chance to play fast and play loose in a bonus round to switch all their points with their opponents in one fell swoop. So to break the ice with our first round, the odd one out. Contestants ready? The game is afoot. Brian Cox, Witches of Macbeth, Al Gore, Sean Lloyd. The answer, obviously, Scott, is Brian Cox. The witches clearly talk about the fog and the filthy air. Sean Lloyd presents the weather, and Al Gore is involved with climate change. Nice try, Louise. Good answer and very good logic. But unfortunately, you're wrong. Steve, any better ideas? Um, I can see from your nip brow you're having a lot of trouble with this one. Yeah, I haven't picked one. Uh, I'm going to go with the witches and Macbeth because the rest are scientists and they're fictional. Well done, Steve. Much better than Louise, but that's the correct answer. What the dickens? Neither rhyme nor reason can justify that. Brian Cox is clearly the odd one out. For goodness sake, you can't justify three witches on the hill to being relevant. Calm down, both of you. Both answers are acceptable. But only Steve's is the one we were looking for today. What's done is done, and we'll move on to the bonus round now. Colin Jackson, Tiger Woods, Wayne Rooney, and Othello. The answer is obviously Othello, it's the other three sportsmen. Oh, Steve, you're doing so well. What a shame that you've lost down now. Louise? The answer is obviously Colin Jackson. The other three have all been caught up in cheating scandals. Well done, Louise. Surprisingly, from the jaws of death, you've managed to steal Steve's points. The game is up. That's all for this week, but join us next time for our live episode from Stratford-upon-Avon. Until then, goodbye and good riddance.